Hello everybody, welcome back to another Quick Stew Games video, and today I'll be teaching you how to make first person character movement in Unreal Engine with C++, so let's get into it. Pretty much, all I have here is a blank, um, empty project with no starter content and is C++, so we have this game mode base here, so, um, first thing you are going to want to do is to add some input mapping, so to do that, if you're on Unreal Engine 4, and I know in the future, in the future, most of you will be on Unreal Engine 5, so, um, if you're on Unreal Engine 4, you can go to settings and project settings, and just go straight to input, and, um, if you're on Unreal Engine 5, you will have to click on Edit and Project Settings. So, um, here I'm just going to go to Project Settings, Input, and I have these, um, axis mappings pre-made, um, but basically let me walk you through how I got these. So, um, <coughs> we want one axis that goes from forward to backward, so, um, we can make that right here. And this one will be called forward axis. And um, you can type right here W, um, and click right here. But sometimes, if you want like the S key, you have to scroll through all this stuff. So, so it's more efficient to click on this and then the W key, and it instantly does it. So click on this S, boom. Um, S is usually backwards in most games, so um, set this to minus one. Okay, so um, we're gonna add a sideways now. So we'll add um, right axis, and we'll do D and A, and A will be minus one in this case. And um, once you have those, you're gonna want to make a new C++ class. So you can go to your C++ classes and add a new one. It will be a character. I'll call it, um, yes, character. And, um, since I'm using Rider, I can make a class within Rider, like this. So if you guys are on Rider, if you're in, if you don't have Rider, then just do it like how I showed you. But if you have Rider for Unreal Engine, you can just right click in the name of your project folder, um, Unreal Class. And I'm gonna call it FPS Character. And make it a character and click Enter. And it will pretty much instantaneously create a file. Um, it'll be all ready to go. In Unreal Engine, you usually have to wait for it to compile and all that garbage. So, um, just something to keep in mind. Not sponsored, by the way. Right, it's just a really cool IDE. So, um, yeah, once you're in your class, um, first thing you want to do is use this function in the setup player input component. Um, you want to type in player player input component dot um, bind access and then you're going to want to type in the exact name of the input access so let me just go over to it make sure it's exact so I'll just copy this boom and then it wants a reference to the object that's on so it's on this then it's going to want a function. So we're going to make a function in the protected section. And we call it move forward. And what this function is going to take in is a value. It'll be a float. And the reason it takes this in is because we need to know um, the value of, like, if you press a key, then the value will be 1. And if you're not pressing a key, it will be 0. If you're on a controller, it can be anywhere in between. So, since we're just on keyboard and mouse, it'll be between 0 and 1. Um, so, we'll make, since we have two axes, we got forward, and then we'll do sideways. So, move right. And we'll implement this function, these functions. So, move right, move forward. I'm not sure what's going on with the white space here. So, um, so yeah, since we're doing the forward, we'll, um, type in the name of your class, and, um, move forward, 
Oh yeah, and I also forgot when I was typing that. Make sure this is um, a reference to the class, not like. See. So, yeah. Um. Now, in the move forward function, Unreal has a very very nice um, function that takes takes care of movement. So just type in add movement input, and um, then it wants a world direction. So get forward, get actor forward vector is the name of the function, and this just basically tells if you're looking forward, is that forward, or like what direction are you looking at? Then it wants a scale value. We'll just set it to be value. So that's the forward. So now the right, we'll just copy this. This will be right axis. Make sure this is moved right. And this function will be pretty, pretty much, pretty much the same. So now we're saying get actor right value, or get actor right vector. So that will get the vector to the right of you. So yeah, that's uh, the movement. So now what you want to do is compile the project, and I'll see you in Unreal. Okay, so the project is done compiling. So also, it has come to my attention, we do not have a game mode set for this project. So I'll make a new folder called Blueprints. Blueprints. And in here, I, I, I will right click on the game mode base that comes with the C++ project, create blueprint class, I'll just call it BP, and blueprints, create blueprint class, set the default pawn to be our FPS character, and now it is not good practice to spawn directly the C++ actor, because, um, well, if you want to add like a character mesh to it, um, you it's really hard to do that in C++. So, well, since we're, all we're doing is movement, it doesn't really matter. So we can spawn directly C++. Well, let's um, play. See, um, we didn't set the game mode, of course. So go to Blueprints, Project Settings, go to um, select Game Mode Base Class, BP underscore Tutorial Project Game Mode Base. So now you can you can see we can't look around, but we can move all around. So press S key, move backward, W key forward, D key right, A key left. And we can invert these if you go in your project settings. Um, you see, um, if you set W to minus one and S to positive one, then you'd be moving you'd be more moving backwards when you hit the W key and forwards when you hit the S key. I'm not going to do that, though, because no one plays like that. So, um, now it's pretty much time for the mouse looking. So, we'll comment this and say this is the movement functions. And we'll add a new set called look functions. I'll add a void look up taking in a value and avoid look right taking in the value and um, we do need to add some more input mappings I know you're tired of it but don't worry we need it it's gonna be look up and look right and we'll have mouse um, mouse Y for look up and mouse X for look right. So now we can find those functions like we would any other. We do look up and we're finding the look up function. Look right. We're doing the look right function. Add those functions now. We'll do look up. And to look up an Unreal Engine, you want to do add controller 
um, I think it's pitch input. Okay, and it wants the value, so let's do value. Do the same for the look right function. One small difference. Now I think it's add controller yaw input. I think. I think, guys. If, if it's wrong, if it's wrong, I'll tell you, but um, let's just compile this. File, save all, compile, and we will see. Compile is done. And yes, it feels right, except it is inverted. If I look down, you can see it's completely wrong. So if I move my mouse down, we look up. So it's um, a pretty easy fix. Just set and look up, just set this to minus one. So now it feels, it doesn't feel inverted. So we look up and it actually looks up. So <laughs> um, yeah, we can walk around and you can see um, if we look this way, we move forward. If we look this way, we still move forward because um, we're getting the actor forward vector at all times. So if we're looking this way, this is the new forward vector and we move forward. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We are missing one thing though, and that is jump. So we will add jump now. And instead of um, binding an axis mapping, we will bind an action mapping, which is just if you press one key. So this will be called jump. This will be our, uh, this will be our space bar, okay? And it's really, really um, easy to add this. Just avoid Actually, no. What am I doing? We can just go here. Player input component. Find action. And once um, our action name, which will be jump. And then a key event. So, um, this is basically if it's pressed or released. So, we, we want to, if it's pressed, we will jump. So, IE underscore pressed. So input event press. And then it wants the object, which is this. And then it wants um, the function. So we will do a character jump. Okay, and make sure this does have the reference. So um, basically this function it um, in the character class all it does is um, make your character jump, and honestly, I we could definitely get rid of these functions and just pass in add controller yaw input, but I forgot that you could do that, so just please forgive me. So yeah, compile, and you should be able to jump just fine in your game. So yeah. Okay, so we play, press the space bar, and we jump. So yeah, this is a basic FPS character controller. We can jump, we can run, we can do anything. And look, it's even clamped. So if we look down, we can't look past. So yeah. That's how you make an FPS character in Unreal Engine. So thank you guys for watching. Um, comment down below if you want to see more Unreal Engine videos. This is my first Unreal Engine video. I've been pretty much doing Unity only, so yeah. Comment down below if you want me to teach more, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.